Welcome back to another episode of Oh My God, How Many Takes Is This Video Gonna Take? So in this one, I'm going to be talking about a uh, visibility notifier 2D. So basically, I think it's a really underrated mode because not very many people talk about it enough or appreciate it enough. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about it and appreciate it in this video. Basically, it's a way of detecting when it's going to send a signal whenever it leaves the viewport. The viewport is basically the area that you can see. Um, so I have a pretty basic scene here. I have a node 2D, a player, which the player is made up of a kinematic body 2D, color rect, and the collision shape with a really basic movement script attached to it. Now, if you wanted the level to reset, if the player were to leave this little area, the screen, the area you can see, you could have some area 2Ds around that are going to send a signal to tell the script to reset whenever you do it. But these are kind of hard. You have to move them around. You have to create them and shape them. And you have to have a couple different signals. And it's just a lot of work. And a visibility notifier 2D is a lot simpler, cleaner way of doing that. So um, I'm going to add a visibility notifier 2D as a child of my player because I want it to sense when the player leaves. Now I'm going to go and if I type in vis, visibility notifier 2D is just going to pop up. And I'll double click at the add up. Now, in terms of how you position this over the its parent, I would kind of do it like you would a collision shape for a collision. You want it to be just over it, and I would make this slightly bigger. Now, basically, the magic of all this is in the no, the signals. So basically, for example, if I have the player here, and you can see from the blue lines that over here is the Edge of the viewport, it's not gonna, and I move the, this completely out so the entire visibility notifier, that purple thing, is out. And then it's gonna send emit this signal of screen accident. And if I were to take the player and go back in, back into the viewport, it's gonna go screen entered. So it has four different ones it has screen entered, screen exited, viewport entered, telling you the viewport, and viewport exited, telling you the viewport. The most important two and the two that you're going to use most are screen entered and screen exited. Um, in my opinion, screen exited is ab above all the most important, but it's really uh, case by case. Um, so if I double click screen exited and connect it to the script, you can see in here we have the function on visibility notifier 2D screen exited. Then you can do get tree under this function. Uh, Real load current scene. Now, whenever the player leaves the viewport, it's going to reset. So you can see that in action. So I'm going to go and I'm just going to go right out and it's going to reset me. I go out to this edge, it resets me. This edge resets me. This edge, it resets me. So it doesn't matter, but as long as I leave, it's going to reset me. And you can do this with any code. You could put any code in here. You could have a timer You after this, any, anything you want. Um, and same applies to screen enter. It's going to be exactly the same, but in reverse. Now, one thing important to quickly note, it technically counts as something exiting the screen whenever you change scenes. So for example, I had level one and level two, they had separate uh, references to the player node. And then I left player scene one, which was level one, and moved to scene two, which was level two, that exited viewport is going to trigger because it's, oh, you, I can't, uh, it's not envision, vis, it's not visible anymore because you just changed the scene. And same with screen entered, whenever you load up a screen, that's going to trigger. So whenever you uh, leave a screen, screen exit is going to fire the and whenever you enter one screen, enter is going to fire. So you want to keep that in mind for when you're loading and changing scenes. Now, this has one more thing. Another way to do it is if I'm just going to use funk process, but you can use whatever you want for this funk process. If you do a reference to the visibility notifier 2D, then you can do, you can do is on screen. And then that is a boolean. So you can do if visibly notifier dot is on screen equals false, then you do whatever you want. But then if it is on screen, it does whatever else you want. 
Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, see you guys.